everyone welcome welcome back to my channel hope you're all doing okay bit of a weird way to start um a video i know but here we are it is the night before my night shift it has just gone i think about half 11 um so i'm just showing you what i'm doing for my night shift this is my first ever night shift um on the antenatal postnatal ward so yeah it's all a little bit of um learning but this is what i'm doing this time so i thought i would film what i'm doing so you guys can see how i kind of prepare for a night shift um so yeah the plan is to try and stay up as long as i can tonight i'm hoping maybe about two three o'clock this morning but i'm just gonna play it by ear because i don't really know what i'm doing um so i've had a bath which is why i look like my hair is white and i look a little bit of a mess um i've just come downstairs i'm gonna make a cup of tea i think um and i'm gonna bring my book back upstairs and just read a little bit in bed so uh yeah i'll catch up with you guys in a little bit so it's now one o'clock in the morning i'm looking rough as hell i'm so tired all i want to do is go to sleep um so basically i've set an alarm for six o'clock in the morning um so i can wake up and still feel tired hopefully um and then we're gonna do a food shop my plan now is just to sit in bed with the lights off i've been reading my book for this whole time so i'm gonna sit in bed now and watch some tiktoks i mean try and keep myself up for a little bit longer and then i'm gonna try and get some sleep but this is not the life for me <laughs> so it has just gone six o'clock i'm up i'm exhausted um, i'm literally just in some comfy clothes um I'm going to do the food shop and then go home, sort a few things out and then I'm going to sleep before my night shift. So that is the current plan. just off to do the monthly food shop at tesco's i did have a little nap on the sofa whilst ryan was watching kill bill um so yeah i've had like a little half an hour nap and then back to sort a couple of things out and then get some sleep because <laughs> i'm tired <laughs> I've just woken up, I've had an hour because um, I feel really sick and hungry because I haven't eaten yet because um, I didn't know what to do with food so I'm just going to have like a pasta ready meal downstairs and I'm going to come back up and then try and sleep a little bit I know this might not be the best way to do a night shift like I said this is my first ever one so I'm just trying to find what works for me but yeah I can't sleep if I feel hungry and sick so we're going to tackle the hunger first <music> As much as I tried, couldn't go back to sleep, so I probably had about two and a half hours. Um, then I don't know if I classed last night's sleep as well, because I got about four hours sleep last night, which then make it like six and a half hours, which is alright. So, I don't know, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, but I just could not sleep anymore. Um, so I'm now up, I'm going to have a wash in the bath. Um, and then yeah, I just kind of take my time to get up and ready, really.
multivitamins. I popped all these in a little tub last night. They're just a variation of things. Um, some zinc, cod liver oil, vitamin C, nothing crazy. Um, just trying to boost the immune system as much as I can, considering I'm going to be doing nights. And then I've just got my other medication that I take. Um, I am going to have some paracetamol as well. Like, excuse the messy room. And um, that's on tomorrow's to-do list when I wake up. Um, I need to take some paracetamol because I already have a banging headache. So, yeah, that is the next on the to-do list. Hello, guys. It's now quarter past six. Um, I've done my hair. I've just done the little... I've just done the little plaits and space buns like I normally do and then I've just curled out my bangs a little bit and I've put on the bare minimum makeup just so that I don't look half dead. We've got a little bit of makeup on. Um, I've just packed my bag so I'm going to show you what I've popped in there and then I'm going to have something to eat I think. So for my night shift bag I decided to use my Gymshark um, duffel bag. I just thought it was a good size. So in here I've got my little bag of toiletry essentials that you will have seen on a couple of my YouTube videos. So just a few things in there. I then have my lunch box. You saw the things that were in there earlier. I then have a nice array of energy drinks and a smoothie. I have a hoodie in case I get cold. I've got my slippers for the end of the shift on break because my feet really, really hurt. Um, I've then got a heat pad in case I get cold or belly ache or whatever. Um, a little tub of peppermint tea bags because I know that night shift bloat is not the one. I then have a little bag of medicines. This comes with me everywhere. I then have my two deodorants, a spray-on and a roll-on and a body spray. And I also have a eye mask and some earphones in case I want to have a sleep. So that is what is going to be in there. I'm going to zip that up and then my practice documentation, I'm going to pop in another bag. survived my first night shift just um so i've got in sorted out the pets put my uniform straight in the wash done all my bits for covid secures you know health and safety whatever all that stuff that is all being sorted right now um i have left a note on my door to say please don't knock and please try and be quiet because i am beyond exhausted um but yeah anyway i am now about to just go and sleep so i suppose that brings an end to my night shift routine i love bringing you guys along with me for my first ever night shift i'm sure my routine will change as i go throughout my degree so i'm sure you'll see that in future videos please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up also leave me a comment down below if you've got any video ideas i love to hear from you guys and last but certainly not least if you are not yet subscribed please do click on that subscribe button and the little bell next to it which will notify you whenever i upload and on that note thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye guys